Hello and welcome to Spooky Story Time. Today, we're going to be sharing with you 5 horrifying tales that will keep you up at night. These stories are not for the faint of heart, so please be warned. We've scoured the internet and found some of the most terrifying stories out there, and we can't wait to share them with you. So, sit back, turn off the lights, and get ready to be scared out of your wits. The Babysitter Jenny was the best babysitter in town. She was always reliable, always on time, and the kids loved her. But one night, something strange happened. Jenny was babysitting for a family she had never worked for before. The parents left her with their two young children and went out for the night. Everything was going fine until Jenny got a strange phone call. It was a man's voice, and he kept asking her if she had checked on the children. Jenny thought it was strange, but she didn't think too much of it. Later that night, Jenny heard a noise coming from upstairs. She went to investigate and found that one of the children was missing. She searched the house but couldn't find the child anywhere. That's when she got another phone call. It was the same man's voice, and he told her that he had the child and that she needed to leave the house immediately. Jenny called the police and they arrived quickly. They found the child unharmed, but they never caught the man who had taken him. To this day, Jenny wonders what would have happened if she hadn't been so quick to act. The Mirror Karen had always been afraid of mirrors. She didn't like the way they reflected her image, and she always felt like someone was watching her. But one day she found an old mirror at a garage sale, and she couldn't resist buying it. As soon as she brought the mirror home, strange things began to happen. Karen would catch glimpses of someone standing behind her in the mirror, but when she turned around, no one was there. She started having nightmares about the mirror, and she couldn't sleep at night. One day, Karen decided to get rid of the mirror. She smashed it into a million pieces, and she felt relieved. But that night, she saw a reflection of herself in her bedroom window. And behind her, she could see the shattered pieces of the mirror piecing themselves back together. The Doll Lena loved dolls. She had a huge collection of them, and she loved to play with them every day. But one day, something strange happened. Lena was playing with her favorite doll when it suddenly came to life. Its eyes blinked, and it spoke to her in a low, raspy voice. Lena was scared, but she couldn't look away. The doll told Lena that it had been waiting for her to play with it, and that it wanted to be her friend forever. Lena never played with the doll again. She put it away in a box and forgot about it. But every night, she could hear it whispering to her from inside the box. She knew that the doll was still alive, and that it was waiting for her to play with it again. The Haunted House Emma and her friends loved to explore old, abandoned buildings. One day, they found an old house that looked like it had been abandoned for years. They decided to explore it, even though they knew it was dangerous. As soon as they walked in, they knew something was wrong. The air was thick with a musty smell, and the floors creaked under their feet. They explored the first floor, but they didn't find anything out of the ordinary. It wasn't until they went upstairs that things started to get really scary. They found a room that was covered in dust and cobwebs. There was an old rocking chair in the corner, and it was moving on its own. Emma's friends thought it was just the wind, but Emma knew better. She could feel something watching them. Emma and her friends left the house, but they never forgot what they saw. To this day, they still talk about the haunted house and wonder what happened to the people who used to live there. The handprint. It was a dark and stormy night, and Sarah was home alone. She was watching TV when she heard a strange noise coming from the kitchen. She got up to investigate and found the kitchen window was open. She closed it and went back to watching TV, but she couldn't shake the feeling that she wasn't alone. Later that night, Sarah went to bed and fell asleep. She was startled awake by a cold hand on her face. She opened her eyes and saw a handprint on her window. It was a small handprint, as if it had been made by a child. But there was no way a child could have reached her window, which was on the second floor. Sarah never found out who or what made the handprint, but she never forgot that night. To this day, she still sleeps with her windows locked tight. Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoyed these stories. Remember, if you're ever home alone, and you hear a strange noise, don't investigate. Stay safe, and we'll see you soon.
please tell me what you think of this video. If you enjoyed it consider giving it a like, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching.